You're listening to the Ecosystem Approach Show. I'm Jason. And I'm Patricia. Tune in every Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific Time and 4 p.m. Eastern Time on Transformation Talk Radio. We discovered that human potential is severely limited when you program humans like a machine, which is standard practice today for self-improvement. The Ecosystem Approach teaches you how to uncover your infinite potential by using natural methods that are truly revolutionary. Join us now for the Ecosystem Approach show. We're talking about the money game and how it really works. Today, we're going to shock you by clearing up some of the myths that we have grown up with and some that we just accept as fact. We use an ecosystem approach to you, which is much different than what you are commonly taught. We see human beings as ecosystems that need to be uncovered instead of programmed. Human potential becomes infinite with our ecosystem approach. Okay, Jason, what do you mean by the money game? You know, I mean, where did you come up with that one? Well, it's, it's based on a story. So let me tell you, it's basically the story of my life. And I've been learning this about the money game all during my life because okay. it started out when I was a teenager. Okay. And I was fascinated by people, um, usually men, unfortunately, but men who, who had achieved greatness and how they did it. Okay. I was fascinated by it. Wait a it. minute. Was greatness uh, just greatness or men with money? Well, it was both. Okay. You okay. know, you know just like curious. There was Abraham Lincoln. Sure. There was Thomas Edison. Okay. You know, um, there was Henry Ford. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. there was Dale Carnegie, not Dale Carnegie, but Andrew Carnegie, mm -hmm. you know, and um, 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 so, and some of the big barons in the, in the turn of the century. Sure. You know, sure. and I was fascinated by it. I thought they were called carpetbaggers, but never mind. That's no, that's, that's all another. That was after oh, another that was show. War, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, um, but so, so I was reading about these 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 people and how okay. they became su successful, you know. And um, growing up, my dad complained, and this is my first um, um, understanding. You know, he had a he had a bachelor's degree in chemistry, mm -hmm. and where he worked. Most of, the, most of the other people had um, um, uh, PhDs. Okay. And um, so, so, you know, it's, um, um, it, um, he, he was saying, well, you know, I, I know much, as much as they do, but they have a PhD, so they're going to be promoted and I'm not going to be promoted. Okay. So I, I got a flavor of that dissatisfaction, you know, mm. based on, it was sort of a game there, a credential game in this way, you know, and then, sure. then, um, then as I uh, went to college, I, I, I graduated in business mm -hmm. and, you know, I, I understood that coming from a, you know, I went to a state university versus a, you know, a, a more prestigious, you know, Ivy League Name student, school, you know? yes. And as I went out in the work world, I saw people that had, they had a label. Well, he, he's from Harvard, he's from Yale, he's from, mm. you know, oh, these things. And sure. these, they, they, they kind of stuck with you mm. and they were part of what I started to see as the game. Because oh. what I started to oh, see- Oh, well, that's interesting. What I started to see is that people weren't being promoted based on their abilities, but it was- Their true abilities. There's true abilities. If, they're, if, they're, um, if they had their credentials, that basically said, without saying, but saying, they had the abilities yes. that you could see that they didn't. Yes, exactly. Oh, wow. And as I worked side by side with a lot of these people, mm -hmm. and I compared the people that had the had the had the credentials and some that didn't. Okay. Um, uh, I started to see it. You know, it, this doesn't make sense. Sure. And and mm -hmm. uh, and seeing people promoted. Right. You know, not not necessarily um, in that were that were um, where I was a part of it, but other people. Right. And how they got promoted and how they. How they didn't. Mm -hmm. I also started to see politics. And this was way before I, I considered myself an intuitive, but I always had a sense of other people's motives and feelings yeah. and how they how they sure. functioned. And I could see that the best among us was not being promoted up. 
And this was part of my, hmm. I was starting to formulate this idea of the money game. And then, then um, as we've been doing this work for 20 years, there's so many people that have come to us, right? Because um, there are people that have, have come to us who have money. Yes. Who oh, don't yeah. Have money. Yes. Yes. Who want more money. Yes. Who, who wants uh, money for a specific thing? Sure. All these things, and we start to see how the different, energy of it works, and 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 the different avenues of that money connected to those people. Exactly. Meaning either that they had or they didn't have that money. And how do they get it? And how do they get and it? How do they mm. keep it? And and were were they? Um, I hate to say it this way, but you know, in the traditional way, were they deserving of it? Oh, you sure, know? sure. Um, and and I'm not to say that anybody that has money is not deserving of it, um, but I'm looking at it from the whole picture. And if you're listening today, well, you're probably you're probably really curious about this idea, the money game, because it's affecting you, whether you have it, have don't have enough of it, exactly, want more of it. Well, and and I was gonna jump in and say, because those that do have money basically walk around saying. I've got money and you don't. I deserved it and you don't. Well, yes. If there's an energy about it. There is an energy about that. Okay. It's 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 embedded in our culture. Yeah. That that if you're if you have poverty, you've chosen that. And if you have riches, it's because you're better. And we know that's not true. At because all. Because when we we look at the energy of people, and we see a lot of people who have great talent, ability, imagination, mm -hmm. potential. Exactly. That, that and have worked really hard, mm -hmm. but they don't don't have the, the, the their level of success is not commensurate. Exactly. And so so that's when I started to um, kind of craft this idea of the money game, and um, oh yeah, hence the question. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so here's the one of the biggest myths um, okay. um, that that I saw was that, and this has been repeated so many times that we we don't we don't even. We don't even question it. Of course, mm -hmm. I question it because that's what I, you know, that's yeah. that's kind of who I am. But this idea that um, um, if you work hard and persevere, yes, you're going to be successful. Yeah, it's not true. No, <laughs> you want to say that a little lo a little louder? Yes, <laughs> it's not true. And a lot of times we we see that people who have, um, and, and it still fascinates me, people that have been very very successful. Why is that? Okay. And a lot of times, um, luck, which is an energy. Yes, it is. And timing, which is an energy. Yes. Um, um, can be a big part of that. Okay. Um, um, is it the best and the brightest that are coming to the top? I, 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 I struggle to, to a, see that. A few, but. Uh, you know, and, and there yeah. are some that, that I've been very impressed with okay. that, that have risen to the top, but there are a lot of people who are like, really? Yeah. Really? You know? Yes. And um, um, part of it is that um, um, most people, and this is, so listen closely, most people don't re really understand why they're successful and why they're not. Now we see it in energetic terms. Yes. So I think we have a better understanding of why that is, but people who are unsuccessful buy into the myth that if you only work hard enough and- Or and, work harder. Yes. So- if they're not being successful, they oh my oh my gosh, I just need to work harder. Yes, I've done that in many times in my life. And if you're not successful, you think, well, there must be something wrong with me. And people that that have been yeah. successful really don't know why they're successful, and they but they buy into the myth because when someone asks them, well, what's the secret of your success? How many times have you heard that on TV? What's the secret of your success? Exactly. Microphone. What's the secret of your success? Right. And they say, well, hard work and uh, you know just right. just not giving up and keep going and going. And, and I've also heard being in the right place at the right time. Yes. That's that timing thing you're yes. talking about. Sure. And sometimes that's false modesty. Of course. You of know. Course. Um, I don't think people really know, and that's what we mm -hmm. start to see, and that's what's so exciting in a way. Yeah. Because we're going to uncover all these myths today um, on our show, and I hope you you stay tuned. Um, here's the other thing. You know, we work with energy, and we understand attraction. Yes. And money does not always respond to energy attraction because of something really important. This is part of our show name because it's been gamified. In other words, it's not like a natural, it's not like you're on the, if you, if we were out in the rainforest and, and 
you were wearing one of those sarong type things. And, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the show, the, what, the show, the camera. Thank you very much. But, you know, if we were in a very natural environment, we're just trying to get food and water and shelter. Uh -huh. We could use ener energy techniques and we could draw that to us. Yes. But what's happened in our culture, especially here in the United States, is that the money part of getting resources has been gamified. Mm. Hence the money game. And they no longer respond to the to energy techniques like you would expect. Right. So mm. stay tuned. This is going to be a really fascinating show. Oh, are you, are you ready for the key points? Yes. Let's Here we go. That. Jason, what are the key points of this segment? The promise of working hard to get ahead is a myth. And when it happens, sometimes it's luck. Mm. Um, most people don't know why. Most people don't really know why they are successful and fall back on the traditional myths. Hard okay. work, sure. perseverance. Energy techniques don't work in a gamified money system um, um, because the intention is blocked. And we're going to show you, oh, we're going to talk, talk about how, how, now you can, that's a good one. how yes. you can get through that. Okay. And the ecosystem pro teaches you to perceive the world based on objectivity, not based on wishful thinking. That's going to be a hard one for me, everyone. In the next segment, we're going to talk about the money game and how it really works. This is the Ecosystem Approach Show with Jason and Patricia, and you're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. This is this ecosystem approach show with Jason and I'm Patricia. I'll get this stuff out of my mouth and keep on talking the right way. In this segment, we're going to talk about the money game and how it really works. We use an ecosystem approach to you, which is much different than what you are commonly taught. We see human beings as ecosystems that need to be uncovered instead of programmed. Human potential becomes infinite with our ecosystem approach. Okay, Jason, what is the money game? The truth is I really don't understand. And I'm sure there's a few of you out there that don't either. Well, we didn't really explain it in the first okay. segment. So imagine playing Monopoly, like your life depended on it. Hmm. You know, I think about Hunger Games. You know, we haven't even watched that series. We need to do that sometime. Okay. But um, you know, where it's cutthroat and um, it's 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 fight to the fight to win at all costs. Fight to the death. Yeah, yeah. And I see that in business. I see that you know it's not personal; it's business. Yeah. Oh. You know, you've got mail. That he was That's, using. Yes, that, yes, was yes. A, that was the, the the famous line. Yeah. Hey, it's not personal; it's just business. Well, that means you can do you can you can tear, you know, you can do anything you want to to get ahead. Now. Um, you can bully, you can do intimidation, you can play mind games, dirty tricks. Um, you, can, you can gamble, take crazy risks and, uh, and be rewarded and cheat. Mm -hmm. You know, that happens a lot, cheat. Mm -hmm. So um, as intuitives, we see people's true character and motives. And we look at the captains of industry, banking and finance, and they're not the best among us. Yeah, You true. know, um, um, but they're really good game players. Yes. They're really good. Um, and they and, and they always appear, I don't know if it's true, but they appear to know every piece of, quote, that game. You know, and I should say, we've met some people who are captains of industry that are very impressive. True. That we have great respect for, and um, um, they really are impressive. That's true. Um, but so we're not saying all, we're not being black and white, but we're saying more than a disproportionate number. There you go. In a way that, well that, um, that just proves my thesis that we live in a money game. Mm -hmm. It's not um, based on really natural give and take in terms of energy. So some people, and this is based a lot of times on your Enneagram type. There are certain types that play the game better than others. Oh, yeah. Um, some because of training. Yes, yes, A lot of yes. times because of dysfunction. And the rules in which they grew up in. Th those rules can be cutthroat. Oh. And if they grow up in that, and then they take it out in the world to play the money game with it, yeah. they can be very successful. Yes, they can. It doesn't necessarily mean that they're the best among us that have risen to the top. Right. And um, what we've seen, however, what we've seen is that um, playing the money game hard does not lead to a great life. 
Mm. Now, we've heard that. I mean, you just have to turn on the Hallmark Channel. My mom's watching the Hallmark Channel right, right now. now. <laughs> you know? And, you know, and money thank you. Hall thank you, Hallmark. Money can't buy happiness. We've heard all that stuff. Yes, and of some of us say, well, yeah, I, you know, maybe not, but I'd like to make but, it a yeah, little easier. Yeah, exactly. It would, it would exactly. Sort of make it a little easier. But um, a lot of people have come to us and they, and they haven't used the same words. They haven't used the word money game. Yeah. But they said, I don't want any part of the money game. Yeah. And they think they can just step out of the money game and not play. Well, that's an illusion in itself. That's that goes to the extreme of the other side. It does. Because we don't survive and can't survive in this world without some sort of either barter or money in order to survive. Well, we, we, we watch these off the grid shows all the time. It's, you know, it, it's, it, it's Shh, don't tell, <laughs> don't tell your secret. <laughs> but uh, so these guys go out in the, out in the wilderness, in the wilderness. And they basically, um, um, produce their own power. Their own water, right. They start from scratch, so to speak. You know, and they, they eat off the land, that sort of thing. Right. And they struggle. Oh, yeah. But for the most part, that's a more, that's not gamified. That's, that's a more natural existence, but I'm not suggesting, you know, when, um, when we watch, we both look at each other and say, I don't want to live that way. Uh, I not only don't want to live that way. I also know that having to survive out in a place like that. Um, yeah. You might not have the quote money game, but you still have to connect with people and um, society. Not that often, um, you know, right. that lives around you they're in the money game and if you don't understand you don't do very well when you need supplies exactly well in part of the ecosystem approach you know if you're listening right now you know we designed it so that we can live in the world the way it is exactly um and, and you know what that's a huge huge point please it, it's you know there's so many people that that you know that are offering a, a so call a better way but they want you to step out of the way life really is into and, and to, to step out of your life the way that it is yes and we don't suggest that at all because no. we start from the inside right. we start from the changing on in the other inside. words no matter where you go you can change from the inside well exactly because because most people say well if if i don't like the world the way it is i'll just go someplace where it's not that right way. yeah and the the geographic change doesn't really make the difference it's called a expect. geographical it doesn't it actually doesn't work because sooner or later it bites you yes in the backside so here's um here's the other thing that the we talked about myth already about the yes. you know, working hard but here's the other one which mm -hmm. is the law of attraction oh. now if you're listening to transformation talk radio network in the first place you've probably heard of the law of attraction which is well sure what you think about you attract but i have a question about it yes and 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 so the question is is one what is the law of attraction and can you use that instead of the money game <laughs> A lot of people have come to us and said that. Mm -hmm. First of all, law of attraction has a huge misconception and right in the center of it. Yes. Which is people think it's based on what you think, but really it's based on your authentic feelings. Oh. So if you're attracting money, if you're attracting love, if you're attracting good health. Yes. You know, um, and you force yourself to think about those things or, or repeat over and over and over that you're going to oh, be the wealthy. Af the or, affirmation thing. The affirmation yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work because yeah. it's not your authentic feelings. And the, the ecosystem approach is about uncovering what your authentic feelings are. Right. And then clearing away if they're negative right. so that you can attract what you, what you really are, are feeling. Okay. Now, if you look around at your life right now, whether it's about money or any other sector, money, relationships, love, um, love, health. food, health, yeah. all of it. Yes. And see what's there. That's probably pretty close to what you're attracting. Yes. With, with of course, understanding that money system is gamified. So so it's it's not purely so if you want resources and you don't have them it may not because you're 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 not attracting them it's maybe because your the money system is gamified and you're and not you playing don't, the and game. I was going to say and you don't know how to play yes yes so so okay. remember the the law of attraction is based on authentic feelings you can't force yourself mm. you can't make yourself you know or repeat over and over and over again or put up pictures that 
that <laughs> that say I'm a, I want to be like this right because you feel like you're conditioning your mind right no the way you do it is you is you see how you authentically feel and clear those things away mm -hmm. and we're going to teach you how to do that today today okay so you have a story yes I had a I had a client who was doing both okay he had a very pure he had an internet business mm -hmm. and um, people would just find him on the internet. Okay. and order his product okay um he had competition but um he, he was able to pricing and everything else was pretty competitive okay and he would come to me and said well sales have slowed down now this guy had a particular anagram type that that tended toward depression yes so we would clear away his depression and his, his hopelessness right and psh, sales would pick up right now um that sounds like a a good um, example of law of attraction, which it is, except for one thing, the way he was structured. And I talked about this um, many more times, than once. Yes. And he, it just kind of was flew over, over his, his head. head. Um, and in other words, he, in, I don't know if it's over his head, but he was denying it. He didn't want to deal with it. Okay. But if that company changed its, um, he was working with one company that did drop shipping. If they changed their, um, the rules, how they, how they did business, their business model. Sure. Um, he'd be out of business. Well, and there's a lot of people in this world today that have had to change so much well, because of the situation. But especially go ahead. with Facebook, Google, exactly. YouTube. Exactly. You know, a lot of people made huge amounts of money and then they then that company changed Amazon changed their their format. Their so format. Speak. Airbnb, mm -hmm. you know, that mm -hmm. sort of thing. Mm -hmm. They've they've changed and how they how they get the money. So right. So um um, he was just, he was able to f carve out a certain spot that was using the law of attraction, but he was, you know, I haven't heard lately, but you know, it could have, it could have completely ruined his business. Mm, maybe. So here's what I want to say to you. You know, if this is, if this is touching you right now, if there's something inside of you that says, oh my gosh, you know, I need to know more about the money game. I want to play the money game. I want to play the law of attraction. I want more resources. The ecosystem approach is the way to do it. Okay. And we're going to talk about that in the next segment, and then we'll show you how to do some clearing for it. Okay. Well, Jason, what are the key points of this segment? A game rarely re rewards the best, brightest, and the most evolved among us. Mm -hmm. The big challenge is black and white thinking where you say, I'm going to play the game or I'm not. Right. Um, the law of attraction only works based on authentic feelings. You can't fake it or force it. Mm -hmm. And the ecosystem approach teaches you to play to see the playing field as it is without illusions like that. So you can play the game All or right. use the law of attraction. So in the next segment, we're going to talk about how to apply the money game for you and your life. This is the ecosystem approach show with Jason and Patricia, and you're listening to transformation talk radio. This is the Ecosystem Approach Show with Jason, and I'm Patricia. And in this segment, we're going to talk about how to apply the money game for you and your life. We use an ecosystem approach to you, which is much different than what you are commonly taught. We see human beings as ecosystems that need to be uncovered instead of programmed. Human potential becomes infinite with our ecosystem approach. All right, Jason. What we've been talking about in the past two segments, you know, it kind of sounds kind of hopeless and difficult. And, you know, I'm kind of thinking, well, why even bother? You know, that kind of thing. You know, it doesn't make the money game attractive. Let me say it that way. And the law of attraction is like sabotaged by the money game. I mean, what is this all about? So this is one of the reasons we created the ecosystem approach, because in order to play the money game, you have to have skills that if they don't come naturally to you, and if, the, and if they do come naturally to you, there's probably, uh, you probably need a therapist. Okay. Okay. And, and that's, that makes it sound bad, but it's kind of true. You know, this, this um, um, people that are super competitive. Yeah. Oh yeah. That do well in the money game, but they, you know, you can't have a relationship with a person that's super competitive. It's very, no, very difficult. Very much. You know, I think one of the, one of the reasons that we do so well together is because we don't compete with each no. other. No, you know, we don't. And it's um, so actually we do. Who can laugh the loudest or the, or the you know, the, that kind of thing. But other than that, no. Well, and so so anyways, but um, um, if you um, 
use the ecosystem approach and you start to build up these, these um, talents and abilities that are natural to you, not, not unnatural abilities, but right. abilities that are natural to you personally, and then use those abilities to play the money game, it'll really help you. One of the things that, that most people don't understand is when you start uncovering yourself, Yes. one of the things you learn is how you lie to yourself. Yeah, oh, it's a big one. It's not an easy thing, and it doesn't sound very attractive. I apologize, but we all see how we lie to ourselves. But then, what happens as we see how we lie to ourselves? Then we start to see how everyone else lies to themselves. So, or is lying to us about yes how they are in the world. Yeah. So, um, yeah. the biggest problem with the money game is that people, you you can't you have to be able to see people's motives. Oh, oh, yeah. And, and when you can see their motives, you can play it so much better. And sure. you do that by applying the ecosystem approach. You can also gain knowledge better. You can learn more things when you have the, use the ecosystem approach because that negative energy is what, what creates a barrier between you and learning mm -hmm. or evolving or, right. or uh, uh, assimilating skills that you need to do. Right. So, so um, and, and create more authentic relationships. So here's the thing, okay? When you have these abilities, you can choose um, when to apply the money game mm. and when to apply the law of attraction or a more ethical, human, um, authentic um, basis for relationships. Oh, wow. So I'm going to give you some examples of how to do that. But here's, here's the thing that I want to talk about, too. The age of Aquarius. Okay. Now I, I go off on this tangent all the time. I'm really excited about the age of Aquarius. It's for, if you haven't heard before, it's an astrological age, yes. an energy age that we're in right now. And we have seen some pretty amazing things and not always good stuff. We're seeing the effects of it right now. The effects now. of it. It's because the changes, they are happening right in front of us. And the age of Aquarius, the promise of it, it's an energy. Yes. It's not guaranteed, but the promise of it is that it will create a more um, equitable um, distribution of money and wealth and, oh. and power, right. um, be more democratic, right. um, empowerment for the individual. And that's what the ecosystem approach is all about, too. And that's why they fit together so perfectly. Right. And the money game, which, which uh, has a lot, of, a lot of a few winners, but a lot of losers, yeah. um, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to bounce that out. But if you want to be part of that, if you want to be part of that change, the ecosystem approach is the way to do it. Mm. We've had so many people who've come to us that don't want anything to do with the money game. I don't want to do that. I don't want right. to, I can't, I don't want to play. You know, it's not me, blah, mm -hmm. blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And what we say is that, um, we said this in the beginning, that if you're a black and white thinker, you shouldn't listen to this show. Right. <laughs> you know, we see that you can play the money game. You can learn to play the money game. And you can also use the law of attraction, if you can dis distinguish when to do which. Okay. Now, I came up with some examples, for example. Okay. If you have a business, mm -hmm. you, you, you have customers, you have vendors, you have employees, right. you have all these constituencies that you work with. If you can see who's who, you may be develop a, a relationship with a vendor where it's based on um, just just a, a, an authentic relationship. You, maybe you like each other. Maybe you, right. you help each other out. Maybe you do things. And then you might have another vendor over here who is completely immersed in the money game. Um, and, and you could never trust them. Right. You know, and you might even have to sue them. So you have to have everything in writing, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so you, there's, no, there's no quick way of figuring out which is which. Right. The ecosystem approach, which develops your intuition, your ability to see yourself and then see other people's motives helps you learn those things. Yeah. So, and that's how you need for, for creatives. I wanted to have a little special. I wanted to talk about creatives, oh. musicians, artists, um, okay. um, people that, that use their art and try and make money as, you know, um, from their, right. from their artistic pursuits. So many have come to us Yes, money, that's true. Needing more money. It's true. Needing more money, needing, you know, needing um, funders, right. um, um, people to support them, mm -hmm. you know, that, that sort kind of thing. thing. And they are very much into this law of attraction, but they don't understand the money game. Yes. And truly, if you really want to make money with your art, now you can say, I'm, I'm just going to go live out, live someplace and, 
and do a few things and, and sell just sell a few things and that's going to be enough for me. Well, that's okay. But if you want to make a lot of money with your art, you have to understand the money game. Yeah. And we see that artists and whether visual artists or musicians well, who have done really well, yes, they know how to play. Yes, the money they game. do. And they, yes, they do. They, sometimes they fall into it, but then they learn real quick. Yeah. Um, but um, it's important to know both the law mm -hmm. of attraction mm -hmm. and then the money game. Yes. Especially if you're a musician to be successful. Now, if you're a company employee, and um, I've been both an entrepreneur and a company employee, so I get this. Um, you need to know the people around you because politics mm -hmm. in most companies, um, whether it's a medium sized, small company, whatever, you, you know, you maybe you can see that you're doing really well and you're, you're um, producing really well, but the owner's son is always going to get first crack at whatever, whatever it is. Promotion. Yes, exactly. So, you, you know, you have to have to accept that. Right. And the ecosystem approach helps you accept the way it really is as opposed to the way you want it to be. Right. Right. So, right. 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 So, so that just gives you an idea. You have to see who's around you to yes. play this, to play the game. Mm -hmm. And you have to see who's around you to do the law of attraction. Well, and here's something else. When you use the ecosystem approach and you learn about you, then you can learn how to deal with yes this this that or the other or this person that or the other person most people don't know how to deal with themselves no, exactly so, so exactly. how are you gonna you know and well, what they end up doing is these 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 things that you learn on these quick fix um right these seminars where this is what you this is how you do you know um 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 listening this is right. how you listen to someone well right yeah you, you know you could you can act the technique which is just phony um, it, and it sounds phony to the other person and not right. really know, not really hear what the other person well, saying. You know, I, I just, I just remembered a small story that when we um, worked at the, um, the college in the art college in San Francisco, there was a person that came in um, halfway through the time that I was there. And she, when she walked through the door, um, the other purchasing agent quit. And um, when she walked through the door, she gave me this line that was 20 feet long. And I, I believed her and that she was going to do she this. She created and, an illusion about herself. Oh, it was which just was her playing the money game. It was her playing. That's exactly what she was doing. And what I didn't realize until it was too late that she was playing the money game and she was stepping on my neck the entire time. Right. And I didn't realize it because I wanted to believe what I thought was the best you wanted to be authentic and have I a real did, relationship i did i did someone that and, and, no, and no i really way. really 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 learned from that and thank you for that but i never want to do that again yes that was my i'm sorry that was my little story there so um um anything else you no, got we got to teach people how to clear so oh i forgot about that part okay uh, i know how to do it so it was one of those things <laughs> so jason let's uh, do the key points and then teach people how to clear when you uncover yourself you'll you'll have the abilities to play the money game. The age of Aquarius creates the opportunity to change the way money is used in the world. Mm. The answer to play the money game and use the law of attraction is by uncovering yourself using your authentic feelings. Mm -hmm. And the ecosystem approach teaches you and uncovers your abilities to play and use the law of attraction from your authentic self. Exactly. Okay, Jason, um, Teach people how to do um, the clearing for those who don't know, and maybe a little reminder for those who and we're have do listened clearing before. In the next segment. Yes, so, we are. So get ready. So here we go. So, so what we do is you, you can sit, stand, walk, lay down. Your posture is not really important, mm -hmm. but in your mind's eye, when we say to eliminate, just gather that up. Whether it's an emotion, bar barriers, veils, right. and illusions, gather exactly. that up and blow it into the processor. I know Olivia is going to show you the picture of the processor right, exactly. and um, just blow it into there. That, that processor is something that we created that that process is negative energy goes in the top and comes out the front and it's neutral. It's neutral, which and is you can amazing. Make it bigger or smaller or whatever. And, and if you think about it, doing the ecosystem approach, you're not only helping you, but you're also helping the environment of negative energy. You're cleaning, cleaning the you're negative cleaning energy. It up. So you yes. take a, just a gentle breath. When you do that, you mm -hmm. just do it over again. 
Exactly. That's exactly. Simple. And then after we do that, we're going to activate life force. Life force energy is the most powerful energy that any of us has access to. And we're, what we're going to do is we're going to call upon it. We're going to ask it to come in through the top of our head. We're going to let it go all the way down our body and also down our arms. Let it go all the way to the tips of our toes. We're going to stop it right there. We're going to ask it to turn around and we're going to ask that very positive energy, life force energy to help us remove more negative energy. And then of course, we're gonna put it in that processor. So um, we ready to, yep. okay, here we go. Um, stay tuned when we come back, we're gonna do some clearing so you can play the money game and utilize the law of attraction. This is the Ecosystem Approach Show with Jason and I'm Patricia. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. This is the Ecosystem Approach Show with Jason and I'm Patricia. In this segment, we're going to do some clearing so you can play the money game and utilize the law of attraction. Actually, this sounds like a lot of fun to me. Yeah. Here we so, go. Yes. All right, here we go. I direct all my resources in all dimensions to eliminate the barriers so I can see how I'm part of the money game or how the money game is playing out in my life right now. Take, Take a, a breath. breath. Gather up those veils and illusions. Blow it into the processor. Excellent, excellent. And to eliminate the barriers so I can see what I'm really attracting is based on my authentic feelings. And if I don't like those feelings, I can clear them. Yes. Take a breath. We need to do one more there. Yeah. And to eliminate the blocks that are keeping me stuck in black and white thinking, thinking it, I can only have one or the other when the truth is, Everyone, you can have it all. Take a breath. And to eliminate the anger, hate, rage, and bitterness that I have about playing the money game mm -hmm. or having to play the money game. Oh, or yeah. Being forced to play the money game. Yeah. Take a breath. Blow it into the processor. And to eliminate any fear, hurt, shame, and pain that I carry about money or my finances that block me. Take a breath, everyone, right from the tips of your toes. Don't let that negative energy be stored in your body and throw it into the processor or trash can, either one. And to eliminate the barrier so I can see all the players in the money game in my life right now. Those who are playing the money game really hard, even though they may be saying, I, you know, trust me. Yeah. You know, trust me. You can be my friend. Yes. I'm going to be your friend. You right. know, it's, it'll be okay. Yeah. You know, um, yeah. sometimes those people are just playing the money game and exactly. And it makes perfect sense to lie to you. Yes. Take a breath. And to eliminate the veils and illusions. So I can see the effect ways, excuse me, the effective ways to play the game that, I'm comfortable with. That's a big one for everyone, Jason. Take yeah. a breath. And to eliminate the fear, terror, and resentment that I have about being part of the money game. Mm. Maybe you're afraid because you can't play. You feel like you've, right. you, and that's in your hopelessness that you can't change it. Well, at all. it could be the other way around that you have a lot of money, but there's no one to, to that you've lost all your friends. Yes. That's how I saw that one. Well, no so, one wants to be around or you. No one wants to be around you. By the way, the ecosystem approach is a great way to change that for yourself. Take a breath, everyone. And here's a big one. And to eliminate all the hurt and pain and depression I have because I'm not a great, I'm not great at playing the money game or the law of attraction. Take a breath. And to eliminate any anger that I have about my hard work that is not rewarded mm. the way I feel it should be. Yes. Take a breath. Get rid of that anger because it's just blocking you. Take a breath. And to eliminate the resistance I have to both play the money game and use the law of attraction. Take a breath. And to eliminate the anxiety and worry I have trying to program myself for money 
which doesn't work. You yeah. can't Ooh. force yourself to have yeah. money or to do some sort of razzle dazzle <laughs> and, this, and then I'll have money. Take a I breath, everybody. And we kind of said this one a few minutes ago, but and to eliminate any black and white thinking I have about whether to play the game or not. Take a breath. Black and white thinking keeps you totally compartmentalized and you miss so much in life. Take a breath. Which is a great segue because we're going to talk about that next week. So Oh, I didn't I didn't even realize it. Okay. Okay. So and to eliminate the clarity so I can see that only by applying the ecosystem approach can um, we really be able to rate or see other people's performance nice. and motives. Exactly. Take a breath. And to eliminate the veils and illusions so I can see the law of attraction is based on authentic feelings. Take a breath. And if you don't like them, use the ecosystem approach. You can change them. So Jason, um, should we activate life force? Activate life force. So, All right, here know, we go. And, and, to, and, and to activate life force so I can have hope to play the money game and use the law of attraction. Take a breath, nice and easy. To the top of your head, all the way down. Remove negative energy, pick it up. And now, now pick it up from the tips of your toes and toss it in that... Um, in that processor and oh it's your turn Go okay <laughs> and to activate life force so i can trust that i can clear my way to the skills that i need to play the money game and the law of attraction take a breath and to activate life force so i can decide to play the money game and use the law of attraction mm, take a breath and here's a big one. And to eliminate any fear I have that says, um, if I play the money game, something's bound to go wrong and I'm going to fail. I release and let go the energy of fear and the energy of failure. It doesn't serve me at all. Toss it in that processor, everybody. And I have one last one. And to activate life force so I can activate happiness and hope and clarity and love, love of myself, love of others. Um, uh, let's see, um, great health and fun and laughter and joy and the ability to see what I can do and what I can't do and use the ecosystem approach to clear for what's in my best interest. Take a breath right now. Nice and easy, blow out any negative energy left over. Jason. What are we going to talk about next week? So we were talking about black and white thinking. Yes, we were. The greatest power that there is, is life force. Yes. And most people um, um, have this, this black and white view of the world. Yeah. It says it either has to be this or it has to be that. Okay. But we're going to talk about this greatest and most powerful energy in the world, which is life force okay. and how you can apply it and utilize it so that nothing has to be black and white. Yeah. Now, I, you know, I, I usually don't reference the graphic that we use okay. um, to describe our show. Yes. But in this case, there's a graphic where there's a tree growing out of a oh, center yes. of a rock face. Yes. And you have to wonder, well, how did there's one tree there, there's no soil, and this tree is, is growing out the top of this rock. And that's a perfect example of the ultimate power of life force. Oh, that's a good one. If you know that that yeah. what the ecosystem approach is all about is to help you create life force for yourself, yeah. you have power to apply it. Now, I see so many people in so many w areas, whether it's the money game, okay. or whether it's health, or whether you have to do this, so you have to do that. Relationships. Relationships. Okay. You have to do this, you have to do that. Sure. But the truth is, if you if you have life force and you're coming from this natural place within that is very, very, very powerful. Yes. You can do all these things in ways that are creative for you. Yes. You know? Well, and, and, you know, one of the greatest powers that I've seen, especially using the ecosystem approach has told me because I've gotten rid of the black and white thinking, by the way, it does show up every now and then. And I recognize it or somebody else recognizes it. <laughs> but my point being that the greatest power that we have um, does come from within. And 
we don't even realize it. Most of us, because we're not, we've been programmed to not think that way. And if you have that power, you can adapt to this world that seems very rigid. Instantaneously, yes. if necessary, yes. excuse me. And in ways that are, that are very empowering for you. Yeah. You know, um, I, I think about um, people of color, women, um, yeah. um, different sexual orientations. Correct. Where the, the, the world is not a welcoming place a lot of times, oh. but with this life force, you can, you can do so many things. Uh, so, so be sure. You, you can learn so many things. Be sure and tune in for this next right. show. Well, next and, show. And, and I just, I just want to add the ecosystem approach is the best way I have ever found to see all of those things that we just talked about and make it possible for myself. Yes. Okay. There's no, and I want that for everybody, everyone. If there was a, a magic wand that yeah. we could just sap you with, and, wouldn't that be and great? It, it, it could all be there. It's not that way. And yeah. programming, our programming culture says that that's uh, you just have to do this, just have to think this way or do this, and it mm -hmm. doesn't work that way. Well, you know, and, and which is which is why the ecosystem approach. If you're touched by this today mm. and you said, oh, yeah, I want some of this. Right. This is something for me. So here's how to take the next steps. Okay. Go to our website, um, theecosystemapproach.org, and sign up for our free section. You know, there's there's content there. You'll get the newsletter with the clearings every week. Yeah. So And do them. No matter what situation you're in, do those clearings because clearing helps Clearing here helps everything in your life. Meaning if you're only doing one little part, but you need step over here, start wherever you can. We've made it so simple for you. Yes, Always say we is, have. just do the clearings. Yeah. Just listen to our show every week and yeah. do the clearings. Yeah. It's that simple. Yes. You know, and um, um, and do them every week. And okay. the more, and it's cumulative. So the more you do it, the more the the better um, right. it is. Well, what about the subscription service, Jason? So um um, you can sign up for that free section that yeah, I told okay. you about, theecosystemapproach.org. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Go to our Facebook page if you want to see us on, on video as opposed to audio. Right. Okay. And we're at um, theecosystemapproach.org on Facebook. Mm -hmm. You can find us there. And if you're there, please like us while you're there. I yeah, really appreciate wines. those. Yeah. Yeah, I, I appreciate that. And um, <laughs> um, um, if you want to send us an email, you can do it at, at hello at the ecosystem And if you have suggestions for shows or comments about a show we've done, please right there. That's the perfect place to do it. Yep. So we will connect next week, Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific and 4 p.m. Eastern time. This is Transformation Talk Radio, and you're listening to the Ecosystem Approach Show with Jason and Patricia. Remember, your ecosystem is the most important one in the world. Thank you for listening to the Ecosystem Approach Show with Jason and Patricia. I'm Patricia. Tune in every week as we discuss practical ways to apply the Ecosystem Approach and develop your potential to live your life on your terms. For more information, visit our website at theecosystemapproach.org.